Mmm, smell that bread. Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Covered on the YouTube channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse but actually enjoy it. And uh, today we're going to make oatmeal bread. I do not want to turn this thing into a cooking channel. It's supposed to be sustainable <laughs> survival. But I got to thinking about it. The way I make oatmeal bread is different than the way cookbooks make it. They always make things more difficult than they have to be. Alright, first ingredient on here is buttermilk. Now, since I ain't using bread flour, I'm using standard flour. I'm not going to use uh, just uh, buttermilk. I don't keep buttermilk. But I do have to put an egg in some water. And you ought to be able to see that in there. Mm. And the reason I do that is because you don't want to have too much liquid and my eggs are all different sizes. So I put an egg in there and then I just bring it up to one and one half cups. Now it calls for buttermilk, not regular milk. And there is, a, every ingredient I put in here is not, is not for the flavor, period. Uh, it's for the texture and to get the bread to rise. Uh, that being said, that's why we got to put an egg in there because we're using plain old uh, flour. And uh, you're supposed to use bread flour, which has gluten. But the egg is like a substitute for gluten. But buttermilk does change the flavor of the bread. Now, I do not, I could make buttermilk using powdered milk, this instant dry milk, and vinegar, and water. But since my wife and I can't tell the difference in it when it's got the milk in it and when it don't, and the dry milk is expensive, and 90% of our bread goes to the uh, chickens and raccoons and squirrels and dogs, I don't add it. I, I would go through a box of this every, probably every month, and that's kind of expensive. So, we do want it to taste like the original recipe, so the one thing we are going to add is a tablespoon of vinegar. Normally you would add a tablespoon of vinegar to your milk, dry milk and water. But since the milk is expensive and I can't tell the difference, I put the vinegar in there. And with the vinegar it does seem to make a difference in the flavor of the bread. And this is good bread. So anyway, I'm going to put that in there. And next we're going to put the oil in there. And I always use a quarter cup of oil, no matter what. Even though this recipe called for uh, two tablespoons of some kind of virgin butter with, you know, who knows. But in any case, we got oil and it's free because this is out of deep fryer and it's got to go and it's going to go in my fire if I uh, don't use it in my food. All right, next thing, let's look at the ingredients here. Salt, one and a half teaspoons of salt. And even if that, whether that uh, changes the flavor of the bread or not, it doesn't make any difference. Do not go over one and a half teaspoons of salt. Wow. Because it is, the, the yeast is, the, the salt is necessary for the yeast to rise. That's the only reason it's in there, for the yeast to make the bread rise. You don't have to have it in there for flavor. And if you get too much salt, then it won't rise. Period. If you go even just two, two teaspoons, which is only a half a teaspoon more, the bread will only rise about halfway. Mm -hmm. If you put a whole tablespoon of salt in there, that just kills. All right, next thing on the list, and the only reason I'm telling you what's on this oatmeal recipe is so you can see how to do this a little bit more sustainably. So we've already substituted that rare, exotic, expensive butter with some throwaway grease. And we've already substituted our buttermilk, which I have no use for keeping buttermilk in the house, with uh, just plain old water and vinegar. And let's see, next thing on here is yeast. As for two and a quarter teaspoons of bread machine yeast. And I've already explained before, yeast is yeast. This one don't say nothing about a bread machine. This is all I use, and that's what I use. And here, here you go how, how it comes. We get a two pack like this at Sam's for about what the cost of one of them little tablespoon things is. But anyways, and I'll tell you something else about yeast. This recipe calls for two and a quarter uh, teaspoons, which is almost a tablespoon. We'll put that in there. But I have put two tablespoons of yeast in, and I have put one teaspoon of yeast in, 
and basically the bread comes out the same. So I don't know why they get all particular about that. All right, next thing on the list is going to be uh, maple syrup. And it mm. says, do not use pancake syrup. Use real maple syrup. Why? I have no idea. I guess because it costs more. And oh. you can tell people this is made with maple syrup because they're all going to love this bread and you got to explain to them why it's so good. Well, we have it. Yeah, okay. well, yeah, we got maple syrup, but why waste it on some bread? Because oh. you can't hardly tell the difference. I mean, I can't tell the difference. Uh -huh. So, anytime a recipe calls for two tablespoons of local honey or two tablespoons of uh, maple syrup, then all you got to do is put two tablespoons of sugar. Because basically, maple syrup is sugar. Mm -hmm. And honey is sugar. As far as bread recipe goes. And the same with brown sugar, you tell me. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of times they'll ask for brown sugar, and I'll tell Mama, "Oh yeah, I gotta use a white sugar because I don't use brown sugar." And she says, "Oh, that ruins it. That ruins it." I can't tell the difference. All right, this here is gonna be old, fa uh, old-fashioned oats. To me, oats is oats, and uh, I've been making a lot of this bread because I'm getting my Social Security check in a couple of days, and. Uh, when I do, I'm gonna go restock my food supply and my oats are getting low. So I wanna use this up because I really don't have room for three of these oatmeal boxes up there. So we put one of those in and it calls for four cups of bread flour. And I already explained, we ain't got no bread flour, so we just regular flour and substitute an egg for the gluten. Four cups, one, two, three, four, and that is that. Now, <clears throat> my bread machine is already dirty because I've been using this to make dough. And when you make dough, you really don't have to clean it as long as you use it again. So I made dough, emptied that, made dough, emptied that. Now we're making bread. I'm just gonna do this one in the bread machine. So we put it on a standard cycle, which on this particular Hamilton Beach bread machine is three hours. Yeah, you can look in there. And we're going to press start. Now, one of the things that I've said before that you've got to do is as this starts mixing up, a lot of flour will be stuck on the sides. You just got to knock that flour down. Otherwise, you will have flour stuck to the outside of your bread when you pull it out of the bread machine. And it's really not time for that. See, it's going to just keep throwing it up. But in any case, uh, another thing I wanted to mention that you need when you make homemade bread is a bread knife. That's important. <laughs> a regular knife will just squish your bread. And That's you don't want to squish it, you want to cut it. And see this here? And this is a piece of uh, oatmeal bread right here. Yum, yum. But it, and this is yesterday's. I actually got this out of the machine this morning at, I guess, around 8 o'clock. But see how nice that cuts? That's made yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's so good. And uh, let's see, what else I got? Oh, here you go. Come look at this. <clears throat> In the mm. here, right now, bacon is four loaves of bread. That's actually a half of a batch. That batch we just made will make two bread pans like this. Too bad this camera gets smells on. <laughs> yeah, no lie. Boy, it smells good. Yeah. There you go, loaf of bread. I got four of them in here. I got some sun chokes too, and I know somebody's gonna ask me what's your recipe for sun chokes. Well, we don't know yet because we ain't tried it, but we're it's getting ready test. to. Mmm. Mmm. Oh boy, it smells good. I'm gonna put some cheese in there. Alright. That's it. Bye. Love ya.